All right, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. So this is the 915, um, well, I guess, vendor show session with RWC. And so we are delighted to have the RWC team in here with us just before we get started uh, again. And we're going to just keep kind of hounding this because we wouldn't, th none of this would be possible without our vendors. So we'd like to thank uh, all the 2020 conference sponsors, ADEQ, Auto Safety House, Braun Ability, Canyon State Bus Sales, Cummins Engines, REI, RWC Group, and the Trust. Uh, their support for this year's virtual platform has allowed us to stand by our commitment to present student transportation information and relevant content to all of our members. Um, like Tommy said earlier, we've got over, I think, 100 people that have never seen uh, or been a part of TAA. So for them to be able to participate in this and see this as a new platform, whether it was because it was free or they're new to the industry, welcome to all of those uh, that are joining. Um, just some reminders. I don't know how long the uh, presentation that Tom has is today, but I assume there will be a place for comments and questions at the end, but you can also use the comment chat box, which some of you are already using. Um, so we do encourage that just to capture all those questions. Um, also, just as a reminder for those of you that have not necessarily taken a lot of time to poke around on the TA webpage, there's a lot of good information and a lot of relevant content as it pertains to this information um, that's been shared over the last day or so. Um, but also just a lot of resources that are there as far as training goes, how we're all responding to COVID-19 um, and some other places of information for you. Find us on Facebook that we contact a lot of people through that. If you have a Facebook page, go find or Facebook account, go follow us on our page. We do put most of our most frequent content out through that and um, as well as our new YouTube channel. So all of this is being recorded and will be uh, uploaded to YouTube hopefully by the end of the week for those that got, you know, missed it or want to go see it. So uh, with that being said, I'll let Tom and his crew kick it off. Welcome. And um, like I said, we'll just kind of take questions, I guess, if that's what you want to do throughout the day or throughout this session, or if you want to save them to the end, we can certainly do that as well. Well, thank you, Jason. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thankful to be part of this today. Uh, as a vendor rep this year, I've seen firsthand uh, the amount of work that goes on behind the scenes to make something like this possible. Uh, so I want to thank uh, TAA and your staff for putting this together in such short notice. I think we'd all rather be up in Flagstaff with a little cooler weather, but uh, given that's not a possibility in today's world, uh, this is the second best thing to do. So thank sure. you. Yep. Um, on the call today with me uh, is my bus sales team, our bus sales team at RWC, uh, Chuck Keen, Chelsea Wilson, Chad Brinkley, and Luke Vaughn. And I was thinking about this morning, uh, including myself combined, we have 93 years combined of bus experience. So very happy about the team that we've been able to assemble uh, on an effort to support you and your transportation needs. So please, you, you don't have to be in a position to be purchasing a bus to lean on us for uh, any type of questions concerning transportation and be a valuable resource for you. So 
Uh, first and foremost, um, want to uh, hope that you're all doing well and you're healthy during these crazy times. I mean, it's been very challenging on our end as well with our employees and our company. So I uh, can only imagine what you guys are going through to, uh, to be able to start school on time and, and uh, smart, start smoothly. So if RWC can help in some way, please lean on us. And uh, our hope is we can make it a, a smooth start for you as well. So uh, as far as what's new with RWC, uh, last month, we just made 10 years in business in Arizona. Uh, back in 2010, Bob Cunningham purchased uh, four international dealerships uh, from the Canlis. Uh, and back in 2010, uh, if you remember the landscape back then, it was the very first year diesel exhaust fluid was introduced uh, as far as emissions. And so we were all kind of going a little crazy getting used to DEF. Uh, with a Cummins, or in our case, we all know the story. We went one direction, the industry went another, and uh, didn't work out so well for us. So 2010 was quite the struggle. But back then, he bought four dealerships. Those four dealerships exist today. Uh, they're 100% uh, RWC employees. Uh, we invested $8 million in a facility down in Tucson back in 2014. Of course, most of you are familiar with our state-of-the-art facility at 75th Avenue. Uh, recently, we added 10 acres to that facility. So all of our new bus and used bus pre-delivery inspections and so forth and preparing your new buses prior to delivery are now done at 75th, uh, really due to uh, your support over the last several years. We've gotten to the point where we outgrew Central Avenue. So, Central Avenue is still available at the I-17 and Central Avenue for bus repairs and warranty, uh, but we are at 75th for new bus. Um, as I look back at 2010 and see the transformation of RWC, you know, back then, honestly, we were a truck company that where bus just came along with it. And we had one outside parts and service sales rep. A lot of you who've been in the industry a while remember the one person we had, and that was Paul Cochran. Uh, we had zero mobile service trucks. Uh, so as we sit here today and fast forward to 2020, we've got 11 outside parts and service reps dedicated to you to help you source all makes, help you with uh, your bus repairs and be that liaison between you and the shop. We've got 13 mobile service trucks to support you, whether it's warranty repair or otherwise. Um, and really, you know, again, sitting here, you know, 10 years later, uh, we've been seven years now offering Cummins engines uh, in our conventional bus and the last four years a Cummins engine in our rear engine, all along the way coming out with alternative fuels like gas, propane, and electric. So we'll get into a further discussion on that. So very happy to be 10 years in business supporting you. At the end of the presentation, uh, we're gonna announce uh, uh, a kind of a free gift uh, to Arizona school districts. You might have already seen some advertising on this, uh, but very happy to be in a position to offer this to you uh, as a way to celebrate our 10 years. So moving along, COVID, uh, obviously we are all dealing with it. It's been a, a huge challenge for all of us. Uh, just wanted to give you a short update on where we are at as an OEM. Uh, IC Bus has partnered with Bluebird and Thomas and a couple other transportation organizations like NAPT. Uh, and just trying to get the messaging consistent and reminding people, you know, where we're at with COVID and just be mindful that whatever ideas that we submit or think about, they must meet federal motor vehicle safety standards. So this organization is called STARTS. It's a task force you might start hearing uh, additional information out of. So. Uh, very happy to be part of this uh, consistent messaging. Um, on the local level, uh, DPS brought this, brought this up prior um, in the prior um, presentation this morning. Uh, I talked to uh, uh, Lance Larson from the DPS uh, inspection group who heads up that group last week. A lot of you are submitting some very good ideas um, in, in an effort to try to keep the drivers safe. Uh, the two pictures you see there on the screen uh, look nice, uh, but unfortunately, they do not meet federal motor vehicle safety standards. So 
uh, one thing to be mindful of it's uh, certain vinyls that uh, are not fire resistant or they're plexiglass, they're not meeting certain standards and so they will not be allowed. And so I encourage you to con continue to submit those to DPS, but be mindful of some of the laws that are out there and we'll get together on the next screen and talk about that. So, um, when talking about ideas that must meet federal motor vehicle safety standards, they must meet those standards up to the right hand corner as it relates to mirrors and window glazing, joint strike, compartmentalization, and flame resistance. So, again, um, whatever ideas you come up with, uh, they must meet those. So, please uh, become familiar with those. Um, IC has actually uh, got a solution approved. Um, what it is, is it's a, a stanchion that is right behind the driver. So if you're familiar with a commercial bus or a multifunction school activity bus, uh, you're probably familiar with this stanchion. This stanchion does not have plexiglass. It's made of polycarbon material. It is approved. It does meet the five federal motor vehicle safety standards that you see up top on the right hand side. Um, the only problem with it or uh, negative to it is you lose a seat behind the driver. In order to keep compartmentalization, that seat cannot be used. So you either have to remove the seat or remove the seat bottom so it can't be used. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it'll meet the standards. It's an option for you that'll be available next week. Um, in typical OEM fashion, I was just notified about this yesterday, but we don't have pricing yet. So I hope to have pricing by the end of today or at the uh, earliest the end of this week, uh, but I've been told it'll be available at our PDCs at the end of the, the week, uh, starting next week. It's about a 45 minute to an hour installation, so not too, too bad. Um, at the end of the day, you know, this is not an IC bus or an RWC uh, opinion. This is really personally just mine. Um, I think what's most feasible, and you guys have discussed this prior, is personal protection. You know, kids, drivers gonna have to have masks, maybe even a visor, uh, but those are probably gonna be ended up the most feasible. We are gonna be allowed to have uh, hand sanitizer to some level on the bus. So I think those are gonna really be at the end of the day, the options. But nonetheless, if you're looking for something more, we will have something available. There's a second option IC bus is working on, and you know we're also in the trucking business, so uh, we have a LT model truck, a sleeper truck, and it's more of a curtain type of material. Um, we're probably 50% of the way there, whether it comes to fruition or not, we're not sure, um, but we're working on it. We wanna make sure that the driver still has a good view of the students in the rear. Um, so it, again, it's something else we're working on, but. Uh, not sure if it's going to come to fruition. So there's kind of an update, you know, as far, as far as where we're at and what we're doing to try to do our part with COVID. Um, so let's get to some product uh, information. So we've had a lot of new launches this year, a lot of good features that IC is coming out with that we're very happy with and they're performing very well. Uh, one you've probably already heard of through our advertising, and that is every international bus is going to come with electronic stability control and collision mitigation. It's already in your cars today. It's a proven technology. Um, in our industry, we've got the safest drivers in the world. Um, but what this is going to do is just be in a driver assist because what we can't account for is somehow a driver getting distracted by another student or quite frankly, other cars on the road and you cannot control what they do. So we've been very happy with this product. Um, and we'll go a little bit more into it in a few minutes. Um, we're also unveiling a new Type C electric bus that will be available here in 2021. Um, we also recently partnered with a company called Liquid Spring, which replaces your traditional airbag suspension or spring suspension, uh, all in an effort to um, give a better ride for not only the driver or for the passenger. So probably a niche market for the special needs area where there's really a focus on, you know, how do we improve the vibration and noise? You know, kids are more and more susceptible to those things. So we've had a really good feedback on this product. We'll also talk about some free uh, webinars 
that IC Bus is putting on each month up until the month of October. We'll give you information on that. Anybody can access it and it's free. Uh, we also offer, or we uh, represent Collins Bus out of Hutchinson, Kansas. And so they've got a new design that some of you have seen, the low floor ramp product where it's taken place of the traditional lift. So you don't have a lift to maintain for the life of the bus. You've got a ramp that rolls out in 30 seconds that's operated by a motor and a belt. And so kids can get on and off much quicker. So you can imagine how long it takes to get two or three wheelchair occupants onto a bus versus this ramp. Uh, and the kids uh, are sitting in between the axles on this um, long wheelbase type A. So uh, we'll show you a little more information on that. Collins also has an electric bus offering. Uh, we recently sold one and we'll be delivering it to an Arizona school district here. Um, at the end of next month. So very happy about that. As far as RWC, we continue to grow our mobile service. You'll con continue to hear a lot about that um, in our effort to support bus. You know, of course we have four locations across the state that are our employees. Um, but to be able to do certain things mobily, we understand the limitations that you have of trying to uh, stop what you're doing during your day and come to one of our facilities. So. We're continuing to grow our mobile service and we're up to 13 mobile service trucks. And lastly, we have an RWC YouTube channel. Uh, so we'll go into more of that. And uh, so we've got a lot going on. And um, let me uh, go a little bit more into the stability control and collision mitigation. Um, basically, you know, on a rainy day or a day where maybe you take a turn a little too fast, electronic stability control is going to help you from fish tailing, et cetera. The collision mitigation is more of something to kind of help you keep your distance from vehicles in front of you, but also if somebody was to pull out in the traffic, uh, it's going to be something that's going to be based off of time and distance. If it recognizes you have time to stop, it's just going to give you a little bit of an alert. Um, if it recognizes that you're going 65 miles an hour and that object's five feet from you, it's going to stop the bus and apply the brakes and avoid a collision. So it's great technology, and I'm going to show a video here of a customer who's got a little over 100 buses in their fleet and their last purchase of 20 internationals with Cummins engines had this technology. And I want to show you a little bit about what they went through. Uh, I was going down the interstate. It's the busiest interstate in Alabama at that interchange. Had a bus load of children, several teachers going on a field trip. And I'm doing my thing, obeying traffic laws. Right as we were getting to that interchange, a car comes around me, cuts me off, and before I could react, the collision mitigation technology took over. The bus stopped enough to get that car out of the way. All of this happened in a matter of two or three seconds. On that day, I was thankful that technology was on that bus. Bus took over, put the brakes on. Everybody on the bus is elated. They're clapping, they're wanting to give him high five. The near miss changed my heart on what I consider important on a school bus. This is Coleman County District you're looking at. As you can see, we've got pins on all of our routes. This is 4,300 miles that we cover in one day. We're picking up about 5,000 students. A lot of opportunity for an accident, so we want to do everything we can to make that route safe. Coleman County has 109 school buses on route. The last buses we purchased, we purchased 20 buses that had the collision mitigation system on it with the radar. My initial reaction, I was very skeptical. My mind is not easily changed. Hearing about the collision mitigation system is one thing, but actually seeing it is an eye opener. The driver reaction was a little apprehensive. Anytime we introduce new technology on the school bus, there's a little anxiety goes with that. We were all trained at one time on what to expect. Not only does it tell you when you're getting close to a, an object, it will also, if you get too close, it will apply the brakes for you. This system, it's already being used in personal vehicles, so why wouldn't it be available on a vehicle that's carrying such precious cargo, you know? We are all bus drivers at Coleman County School Systems. Being a bus driver, safety is number one. I believe any extra safety devices or measures on the bus would be a big help. 
every day you meet someone that's over in your lane or a little too close. I drive a lot of back roads near the lake where it's almost like a roller coaster ride. There's just constant people driving and not paying attention. Lots of distractions. Yeah, I mean, you've got animals, you've got vehicles, you've got big trucks. I mean, if you've got 40 kids behind you also. Any kind of new technology is very welcoming from any bus driver. You would think this collision mitigation system would be expensive compared to other options equipped with bus. It's really not. Coleman County was the first system in the state to receive the collision mitigation with a wingman advance. The state had not approved the fusion system for the state of Alabama. It has a camera that's actually mounted on the windshield. Since then, they have seen the importance of that. So we now are certified to have the fusion system and they will be on my next bus. Okay, so um, again, a great technology. You know, I can share one experience with myself. You know, uh, as salespeople, we have to be comfortable in it, right, to be able to sell it and support it. And, you know, the very first time I drove it, I dro drove all over downtown Phoenix and I couldn't get any alerts. And at the end of the day, if you're driving safely, you never hear from it, uh, you know, unless uh, a car comes out of control at you. So those are the things that we can't control that this technology really helps you with. Uh, I remember one day I was demoing buses with Chelsea and was on the road for six or seven hours and coming back on the I-10 and you know, you're daydreaming on that trip from Tucson to Phoenix and it, it started to beep at me and I noticed I was getting within about five feet of the rear bumper of a car at 65, 70 miles an hour. So and it was just like, okay, I know what this is now. It just kind of reminds you, all right, relax, back off a little bit. You're, you're riding a little, a little too close. So again, great technology. Um, and very happy to have it. So please contact your sales rep for a personal demonstration. So the next slide, we're going to talk about the Collins bus, the low floor ramp design. I want to share a video there of a school district who uh, is using this technology. Four students in one local school district are getting a chance to do something other kids probably don't even notice. They can get off at the bus stop on their own. Shelter's Linda Stouffer reports from Carroll County. A new bus is making this possible, and she learned why the district decided to give it a go. The ramp glides out on this brand new school bus and makes Jake Tucker's day smoother. I'm really excited because it doesn't like bounce me around so much. This new bus has a lower floor. It's closer to the ground. The old system hoisted the students and their heavy wheelchairs with a mechanical lift. The whole chair would rock back and forth and go towards the window. You have a good day at school? Yes. This bus the, uh, has the capability of opening and closing with the ramp being deployed and stowed in 30 seconds. Like for rainy mornings, it won't be as long waiting for the lift. School takes care and make sure we have what we need.
So uh, again, very happy with this product. Again, think about not having a, a traditional lift in the bus for 12 or 15 years and the savings you could see there. The ramp has a motor and belt, so not a whole lot of components to it. Uh, the ease of getting kids on and off the bus quicker now or their ability to be able to get on the bus themselves. You can see how happy they are. And that was one piece we didn't think about when we first started demonstrating the buses. The fact that these kids can get on the bus themselves in some situations, even walkers. So very happy with the product so far. Um, again, uh, before we get into some of the uh, new other products we have, but you know, as far as the collision mitigation and electronic stability control, at IC bus you have choices. You know, whether that be diesel, gasoline, propane, or an upcoming electric. Uh, and keep in mind, propane may not be for you. Gasoline may not be for you. Uh, I mentioned earlier we have a team of salespeople that have over 90 years experience. They're going to sit down with you and they're going to uh, ask questions about your application. And we want to make sure that whatever we're selling you, you have a good experience with and we want you to buy more. So it may be a combination of your fleet of diesel and gasoline or diesel and propane. But again, we're going to sit down with you and, and see what makes sense for you. But you do have choices at, at RWC uh, when it comes to fuel. Uh, the next two slides, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our electric bus. Um, we've got a Type C coming out from IC. We've got a Collins electric bus uh, where they've partnered with Motive, M-O-T-I-V. Uh, they've been around for at least a decade. They're on their fifth generation electric chassis. So when it comes to electric, you definitely want to work with somebody who has experience and has already been through the trials and tribulations. So they have a very proven chassis. So we're happy to be able to partner with Motive and, and Collins on this. And like I said earlier, we'll be delivering a bus here shortly at the end of next month. But uh, up, uh, uh, Chuck Keen is going to talk to you a little bit about the next two slides. Uh, on electric and Chuck, if you want to unmute, it's uh, it's all yours. I think. Good morning, Arizona. Uh, as I steal a line from Andrian Cronauer, if for you old people like me, um, I uh, this is my first time ever on the internet. I uh, I think Tom's been on it before though, and we won't <laughs> talk about that in public. Uh, I am. I am into technology for the customers that know me. Um, I'm still waiting for my uh, hydrogen fuel cell powered bus. And uh, I guess we'll see it when the Jetsons life is real. But here at IC, I'm very excited about the bus coming out. Um, they have taken about a hundred orders based on states that are using grant money, federal money, and money that has limited time that, uh, for usage. So those are, those are going to be being produced. We're looking at getting pricing on this bus sometime late this year, early next year, and hopefully we'll be able to take orders for the bus early next year if everything stays on plan and the creek don't rise. Um, Right now, it has a 125 mile range. And I know everybody's thinking, those that are already thinking about it, is that with air conditioning or without? We're still working the little, couple little of the technical things out, but I guarantee you it'll have the required amount of air AC that we need here in Arizona for it to run. So that's, that's a good thing. The one thing you gotta remember on new technology, is that it's constantly changing. I have a commercial customer who ordered a electric commercial bus a transit, uh, not one that we make, uh, I mean like a, a public transit bus. By the time it was built, delivered and ordered, the batteries were already out of date. So it's, you gotta watch it. We're, you got to watch and make sure that the software program is upgradable to new technology. Make sure that the, the batteries can be upgraded to new technology. And when new batteries come in, that the batteries can be placed in your bus. So it's, it's look at all these things. Um, we're going to get some more information out on the electric bus from IC just as soon as we can. Tom, next slide, please. Collins bus is probably, 
it's just an awesome vehicle that they've done. And one of the first things I want to point out about the Collins bus is when the electric engine went in, the Ford chassis and warranty stays there. Ford still warranties it, even though it has a complete new engine in it. Now, the engine and trainee are, are in, uh, warrantied by Motive. Motive was founded in 2009. Their first type A school bus was on the road in 2013. They're currently in their fifth generation and have 100 electric vehicles on the road and coming up to a million miles of uh, satisfied driving. Uh, the Ford, again, the Ford chassis is fully warranted even with this change. The battery pack currently being used is the same lithium ion battery pack that BMWs are using. So it's a very good battery pack. Uh, Motive also will include free driver training and complimentary route analysis for uh, the proper use of the bus or review of how you're gonna use that bus, which is pretty nice. They also have a standard Wi-Fi with customer support that gathers data, software update, over the air new features and fixes through Wi-Fi, and they have an upgradable option to go to telematics and for a slight fee. Collins Bus is made in the United States of America in Hutchinson, Kansas. All the parts are built, brought in, and it's built right there, and uh, it's a wonderful plant. Hopefully, we can go see it again. I toured it. Um, very impressive bus. Collins has been in the industry for years. They have one of the best uh, reputations as a type A bus, and uh, it's great, great product. It has a five-year, 75,000-mile warranty, and it has, the batteries are three years and 50,000 miles. And right. any of the staff will be more than willing to uh, answer any questions that you have on it. Thank you very much, and have a good day, everybody. Be safe. Keep the distance. Thank you, Chuck. So the next item, real quickly, we're going to go over Liquid Spring. Um, I was introduced to Liquid Spring about a year ago. Um, it takes the place of your traditional airbags and your uh, springs and a lot of the normal suspension co components that wear. Um, they're in the ambulance in industry initially, where you really need to focus on patient ride and the smoothness of the ride. Uh, right now, this is available on our assembly line at IC Bus. Um, and we've been demoing it for the last year and it's got a really good feedback. Uh, we've got buses on order from two different school districts. And so I know we only have about 10 minutes left. We'll talk a little bit about the Liquid Spring uh, and then our mobile and then finally the free offer at the end. So I'm going to introduce Chad Brinkley who will quickly go through this. Thank you very much. Chad Brinkley, are you with us? Sorry, I was trying to unmute first. There you go. All right, so I'll do. I'll be quick, but I do encourage everybody to reach out to your sales reps and get more information on this system, especially a demo. You take a demo drive on it, you will notice the difference in this in this uh, versus a spring or an air ride suspension. It's definitely worth your time. Uh, so Liquid Springs started over 20 years ago. Uh, is conceived to fulfill a need in the uh, mining industry, off-road mining trucks. Uh, it's liquid-based struts with an onboard processor. Uh, provides a much smoother ride, softer ride, better handling and control. Um, there, again, there's a noticeable ride improvement over air or spring ride suspension. Uh, it's especially beneficial to special needs students uh, who seem to be more affected by vibration and noise. Um, also, the driver comfort, you know, long day, the, the, the more comfortable, it's quieter. They're not as uh, exhausted at the end of the day, if you will. The system is built on the assembly line at IC and is finished at our bus specialty center. So it's not an add-on with the factory. It is built in the factory. Uh, IC worked close with this company uh, to bring this to our customers. Uh, we're the only school bus manufacturer that offers it. They've invested uh, a lot of uh, time and money in providing the safety and comfort for the drivers and students. Um, the items that will be deleted 
your airbags, um, your wear pads, your, your traverse rod. I mean, you can see on this, on this slide, there's quite a few traditional components that will be deleted from the suspension. So again, the wear and tear, the cost of upkeep over the years be substantially less. Uh, the system is a, a uh, liquid based system. It's a, silica, a silicone product. Um, the only you don't add fluid. The only time you'd add fluid is if there was a leak uh, in the hose or the, uh, the system itself, which is rare. Again, this runs on ambulances, fire trucks, off-road equipment, uh, some over the road equipment, school buses, shuttle buses, you name it. I mean, it's, it's been put through the ringer. Very glad that IC bus brought it to us because it's a huge advantage, especially with more fragile kids, if you will, or rougher routes and wear and tear on the bus itself. Even you'll notice here that the components that are installed, um, you'll have your, it's a closed system loop system, your trailing arm to control, you know, for the axle, um, you know, some of the some of the things I want to touch on real quick before we go. I already talked on improved ride load, uh, safety or comfort. Uh, it has more control during evasive maneuvers, less sway in the cornering, less wind sway. Uh, the active suspension it monitors via a microprocessor. It monitors your steering direction, your speed, your brake level. Is there another slide, Tom? No, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, you did sorry, good. Sorry, sorry, I had to rush through it, but you know, Tom and Chuck took up a lot of time. But again, please reach out to your sales reps, get a test drive. We have one here in Phoenix. We'll bring it. Everybody I've taken it to, I'm sure Chuck and Chelsea can uh, attest to this as well. Everybody's impressed. You know, and it's, it's definitely worth witnessing. It is an upgrade. Uh, right now, it's about $8,500. IC is working with Liquid Springs to get the cost down as we move forward. Um, so, would it be Conceivable to put on every bus, not necessarily, but you will have kids that will benefit from this, especially your special needs kids and your drivers. Thank you, Chad. So definitely a niche market for us. And we've asked a lot of schools, well, how much do you spend on suspension components, airbags, springs over a 15, 18 year life of the bus? And, you know, it's definitely several thousand dollars. So it definitely cuts into that, that upgrade charge to get it. And at the end of the day, the, the price may not mean anything to you. A better ride might be more valuable. So Moving on, we've only got five minutes uh, before question and answer. Mobile service. Uh, we have made a huge investment in mobile service and supporting you, uh, the customer. Uh, I don't think at this point RWC uh, could be any more bus focused than they've ever been in the history of uh, being here in Arizona. Four locations, 100% customer employees, 13 mobile service trucks, 11 outside parts and service reps dedicated to you and good products with Cummins engines, electric, propane, and gasoline. We're committed to you. So uh, I have Chelsea Wilson, who's out of our Tucson office. She covers the Tucson and Southern Arizona area. She's gonna briefly talk about our mobile program. And then finally, I'll go into our free offer at the, at the end. Uh, Chelsea? Hi, good morning. Thanks, Tom. Um, like Tom said, we have 13 trucks. Um, out there right now, one in Flagstaff, one in Tucson, one in Yuma, and 10 in the Maricopa County area, just um, servicing all the surrounding areas um, from Central and uh, 75th area. So uh, with these trucks, we find it very awesome to help you guys as districts because it's not always easy um, for the surrounding areas to bring your units in. So give us a call, you guys, the number's right there, the email, that's just a general email, so it does say Phoenix, but if you're in the Tucson area, um, take a picture of your screen right now, um, get a hold of them, we'll coordinate, you know, we do anything from catching up on your workload, you know, uh, PMs, AC repair within reason, um, warranty work within reason, anything that's really a big job, we like to bring here to the shop, um, but you can get with any of your sales reps to help coordinate maybe transportation to the shop if your drivers aren't in at work right now. If your drivers need something to do, obviously, you're more than welcome to bring it in yourself. Um, a big thing that I really want to point out that a lot of districts don't realize is that um, I know Chad, myself, Luke, Chuck, we're really big on selling tow packages. 
And it is not because our, our buses break down. It's for when our buses break down. If it happens, it is so inexpensive, you guys. It is worth looking at. Um, we have a five-year, $100,000 warranty, and that's a $550 tow coverage. Um, and that's super cheap, $888. And we actually just rolled out a new five-year unlimited mile um, warranty for up to $1,300. Um, and that's $1,100 value. So, I mean, you use the tow once, and you're already paying for it. Um, you know, for all my friends, I, I'm in the Southern Arizona area, so all my friends out in Thatcher, Douglas, you guys, this is huge. You wouldn't have to really pay for a tow if you needed to come in. And that's, that covers anything, um, warrantable failure, and it includes Cummins too. So keep that in mind when you're quoting your buses. Um, we're here to help you. So um, definitely take a picture of that screen and um, call us if you need the email or anything. Um, you can go to the next slide. Uh, this one just talks about webinars um, that we have. Tom touched on this briefly. Um, we have free webinars out there. We're already coming up on session three next week. Um, you can go to icbus.com slash service webinars to register. Um, they are super beneficial. Um, Alan and Randall are hosting it, but they have, you know, reps from Cummins, reps from IC Bus that are coming in and teaching and making these classes really beneficial. They're about 30 minutes or less. So it doesn't take up a huge part of your day. Check those out too. Thank you, Chelsea. Thanks, Tom. So finally, um, to celebrate our 10 years in business, we are offering two free extended warranties. One is a five year unlimited mile warranty, parts, full parts and service and labor, uh, five year unlimited air conditioning warranty compressors, uh, stir condensers, evaporators, the full system. Typically on a bus, we're usually lately offering two or three years. This is five years unlimited. Keep in mind, also, we're offering a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty on the body and the chassis. So you already get a bus that has five years, 100,000-mile warranty on Cummins, seven years on an Allison Transmission 2500 series, or 500 on a I'm sorry, five years on a 3000 transmission. So you've already got good base warranty on the expensive items. But all manufacturers will typically give you a base warranty of one year, 12,000. We're taking it to five year, 100,000 mile warranty. We'll send you out more information on what that covers. It's eight pages long. You know, heater motors, the froster fans, stop arms, lighting, chassis components like alternators, five years. Five years, 100,000 mile warranty on body and chassis components along with the air conditioning. Add that to your base warranty and we're extremely happy to be able to celebrate our 10 years and offer this as a free extended warranty to you. So you're getting 10 years and it's via the Mojave Educational Cooperative contract. So thank you very much for uh, your time today. I want to open it up to questions and I want to thank you for all your support. This past year was our most successful a bus year uh, since we've been in business and it's all due to your support. So thank you again. And uh, we'll open it up to uh, questions and answers. Please reach out to your bus salesperson for more details on the 10 year warranty. Thank you. Questions. Monica, I just saw your um, question on there. I answered that. Um, if if that doesn't make sense, um, we can go into the further. But with uh, on coverage, the on the ten year warranty, by the way, that's on any bus that we have on the ground here in Phoenix. We have close to fifty stock units on the ground here in Phoenix. Eighty four passenger rear engines, seventy seven passenger conventionals, special needs buses, and white fourteen passenger non CDL buses. It's good on any stock bus you buy or any custom orders. I failed to mention that, but again, I know we're short on time, so please reach out to your bus for more information. Jason? Yeah, if anybody has any uh, questions, feel free to either hit the group chat comment box or if you want to unmute yourself um, and just speak up, you certainly can. Um, we have about a minute or two and then we'll close it up. So if anybody has anything, I see just a lot of good comments in here. Thanks for the great information. Lots of new features, uh, great info. So I think it's, you know, obviously thanks to you guys for, 
um, putting this together. Good, very good presentation about what all the options are that are out there currently on the market. I know that um, you know it's it's been very interesting to see how everything's changed just in the last ten years as far as school bus. Uh, goes so you know with all the the new technology that's coming out pretty exciting to to see so i don't see any or hear any other questions so we'll go ahead and wrap it up uh you guys have a 15 minute break before uh the next session we have at uh, i believe that starts at 10 15 with the team from auto safety house so um everybody gets a little 15 minute break and we'll all open or we'll open the room up in about five minutes or so uh, for people to start getting in there so thanks to the rwc team and uh, thank you everybody just a few minutes thank you. thank you all right stay safe and healthy